On a day like today, in the cold and the snow, it's hard to imagine that the world is heating, but it is. The energy system constantly needs to be 100% balanced to work. Another very important trend is the transition from brown to green energy production. We're talking about phasing out fossil-based fuels and continue to introduce more and more of weather-dependent renewables such as wind and solar. Because of that, we need to introduce grid-scale energy storage. It's estimated that around $600 billion will be invested into energy storage by 2040. When looking at larger scale storage, there are a few options available. We have hydrogen, we have lithium ion, we have pumped hydro above the ground, we have mine storage, which is a type of pumped hydro, but below the ground. Lithium ion is very much consumed by the automotive industry and will be so for foreseeable future. Hydrogen will be part of the steel production. It will consume many terawatt hours per year and that will be a full focus for hydrogen for a foreseeable future as well. Above the ground, pumped hydro has a, has a limitation. Most countries in the world are lacking height differences, which is a pivotal part of above the ground pump storage because you need the dams, you need to pump the water back up into the dams. For the grid scale storage, mine storage is a good fit Above the ground pumped hydro is today 91% of all energy storage in the world and it's almost used, it's depleted. Whereas underground pumped hydro, so-called mine storage, is unused. Mine storage concept is really brilliant. By utilizing different elevations, we move water up and down depending on how we want to use the energy storage. When we release the water from the upper elevation to the lower reservoir, we can release also energy through a turbine. And then when we want to store energy, we simply pump the water up to the higher elevation again. 